Hi, this is a demonstration video of the phone. I put the phone back to the original stock uh, ROM. So this is, the, this is the ROM that ships with the phone when you were to buy in the store. As you can see, yeah, this is a stock uh, touch flow made by HTC. This is a skin that wraps over Windows Mobile 6.1. So there's a lot of tabs, email, text messages, the at t tab, internet, music, weather, programs, photos and videos, and settings. So let me just close that. Just going back to the beginning, I just wanted to show you all that real quick. I'm going too fast for it. Okay. No. It's fine. Okay, we're good. Okay, on the stock screen, you have a time and a call history and calendar. So we can show the different time tab, how you set the time. Alarms. So you can pick different alarms at different times and so forth. I'm using the stylus so you can see what's going on on the screen. Hitting OK up here goes back. So if you go up, you can see what's down there. Um, just really call history and calendar. Going to calendar, we can click on that and we can cycle through the calendar by pressing on the left soft key and so forth and so on. So go back. Call history, it's very similar. No calls display. You have um, uh, total calls. You have missed calls, outgoing, and incoming. Then, if you press on the middle, the middle button is almost always a keyboard, so you can always bring that up, and you can bring this up, and you can select the different keyboards from here. I'm gonna hit OK to go back. So hit OK to go to the screen. Going to the People tab, you can okay that you can. Swipe down to view uh, all the uh, different contacts. You can put pictures. You can swipe down this way too. Quick way to access it. So, email. You can set up different type e email accounts like Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook. But I don't have any email accounts on here. It's a pretty bone stock phone. Text messages the same way. It's a fancy way to display all your text. Text messages on this phone are threaded. So it's a very uh, nice feature from the uh, original phones. Here's the AT&T tab. You probably will not be using any of this. So going back to the internet tab. So basically you have MediaNet and you have a bunch of, uh, bunch of links here. I believe if we click on Facebook, it launches Opera Mobile. It will fail because there's no Wi-Fi connection or data, as you see there. Okay, let's go ahead and close it out. Click this here, close it out. Okay, going to the next tab. I don't have any music on this phone, or I do I? Let's hit play. So everything works pretty good. You can uh, go down. The next song. Hold on, that didn't work as I wanted. Okay, try it again. I forgot the swipes on this one. That wasn't it. And that wasn't it either. Swiping up apparently does something. There it goes. This is a little, just a little of music. That's basically the music player on the phone. Let's pause that. Going to weather. Weather will crash probably. Oh, he's at saying there's no data connection. So we hit no. That's fine. There's some preloaded weather. We'll go back there in a second. 
These are all your like common programs. This is not the full list, but all the common stuff. So you have Opera, you have Photo Album, Windows Media Player, Notes, Task Manager, or Task. You have Word. This is a fun ball game that is a... Uh, let's see what that, that's about. Here we go. So it uses the, the accelerator phone. It's a very uh, cool game. It's very fun. Uh, all right. Let's cancel the game. Let's quit. Yes, I do. Thank you. Let's go back to the camera mode to so all your photos and videos. Would you like to participate? No, sir. Hi. Thank you. So here's some of the photos. It's a neat way to display all the photos on the phone. Going back over here to settings. So here's all your common settings. You so set the wallpaper. Um, the one that you're probably most interested in is communications. This is your com communications manager. Here you can turn on the airplane mode, turn on and off the phone, radio, turn the Bluetooth on and off, Wi-Fi, and so forth. So let's go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi. Well, let's not do that first. Okay. All right, so let's uh, exit, hide, ex exit that. Let's go in the start menu now. So here's a start menu of all your all your common programs, right? So you, uh, you go to programs, and here's all your programs on your phone. So I installed no data and Power Ringo on the phone. So what else did I, did I install? Has a couple of games on here, and then uh, go, let's go back. Where's Google Maps? I thought I installed it. Okay, let's go to No Data. So as you can see, this is the program I was mentioning to you on the internet. Um, both all the data connections on the phone are enabled right now. Let's go ahead and disable those. Go ahead, OK. Then toggle that. So now you do not have any data connection on your phone. So you cannot incur any overages on the phone. So that's basically the app. Once you set it, you're done. Uh, Pal Ringo is a uh, multi client instant messaging app. So to demonstrate the use of Wi Fi, we can just go back to the communications manager here. Turn on Wi-Fi. And then you notice there's going to be a logo up here somewhere. How do you turn this off? Next. Don't send feedback. OK. There it is. See this icon up here? Where I'm pointing, that is the Wi-Fi connection icon. Uh, the solid arrows means that there is a solid connection and it works. So we can go here, wireless LAN. And as you can see, this is my network. You know, the signal quality is pretty good, so we're good. So if we were to go back to the internet tab, and scroll down to say Yahoo, to Yahoo page loads. So with Wi-Fi, it will work. Without Wi-Fi, you have no data at all because there's no data connection on this phone. We turn it off. So let's go back to weather. Earlier I said, hey, there's no data connection. And now it's updating. So it's 68 degrees in New York right now. That's good because I'm going to be there soon. So let's go back to... Um, programs. You say you wanted to see the uh, 